Sziasztok! Laura vagyok! Tambal vagyok! Angol vagyok! Német vagyok! Mi vagyunk a Traveling Weasel! Makjolo Tanelunk! Mi egy pár vagyunk! We're learning Hungarian with Zsuzsi! And this is week... Nét! Ero Astal. Oh, filming? No. no. Oh. Astal? Oh, yeah, table. Ero Astal. Oh, like working table, like a um, okay. desk. Yeah. So today is Hetfo. That's right. Guess what we learned today? <laughs> it's getting serious now. It's getting so serious. Today we learned about the word order, which is kind of similar to the German, not really, but German has a specific word order sure. that we can't remember what it is. But um, <laughs> Hungarian also has a specific word order, which is person, time, place, and something else. Verb. Verb. Ki, right. mikor, hol, mitchinal. Chinal. I had a real problem today with saying mitchinal. Yeah. Mitchinal. So the lesson started with Juji putting some awesome uh, printed papers on this yeah. uh, table, on this astal. Astalon. Uh, astalon, that's right. And we had to sort of guess... Uh, papier uh, as astalon. Right. Now get on your She's written words on um, sticky notes and we had to match the... Uh, we had to match the sticky notes with the stuff that was on the paper. But that, I really enjoyed that. I, I love learning new words. And what new words did we learn? Oh, so many. It, uh, Can't think of any. Tunnel. Tunnel. Anyway. Anyways, then Shuji <laughs> put them all on our uh, sekren. On our sekren. I was thinking. Yeah, right. And Shuji put them all in like a random order on the, on our sekren, and then we had to readjust them for front vowels and back vowels. Then we got super confused about person, time, place, verb because. Oh yeah, it's so. It is very flexible. It's so flexible. Yeah, I don't like that about Hungarian. Like, I like rules. I like strict rules that you don't. You know, like math. <laughs> Next lesson, damn it. Nimetul es, angulul es, kicsit matjalul es, kicsi kicsit japan beszelek este. Angulul es, nimetul beszelek es, mos, magyar, magyarul tanulok. Hey, that's not right. Well, that's a good excuse. Okay, um, angulul es, nimetul. All right, that was lesson Ketu, week Nid. Nid. So today we're back in the classroom. There are a few new students today, yeah. which was cool. And we did the thing where we would go around and say, Laura Vajok, and. Husan Kilens Vajok. Husan Kilens Ivesh Vajok. Vislad. Um, but I think my favorite part of the day was the game we played, the Yartek. Oh yeah, that was really cool. I didn't film that unfortunately because yeah. it was hard enough to play as it is. Yeah. But basically, Zhuzhi had a little ball and she threw it around. Well, we threw it to each other and you catch it and then you have to say the number. Edge, catch your heart. We counted <laughs> until 100, I think. Zas, yeah. Zas, yeah. yeah. All the way up to 100. But it was, I, was, I found that so hard. Not because of the Hungarian, but just because I'm so bad at throwing and catching. Ah. And, and I was so worried about like hitting someone in the face or getting hit in the face. But I thought it was a really clever game of Juju because, yeah. um, you know, you're not really... It's like real life, you know? In real life, it you're is. not like, oh yeah, sat in a class, I'm like, Edge, Keto. <laughs> Which obviously I can't do that. <laughs> no, like in real life, you're not just edge, keto, hard and need. Life's throwing balls at you and you've got to catch them and be like, oh, quick. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyways, on to the next lesson now. Lesson Harum. T. Pentaken a Bulliban Tansol Tech? Tansol Tok. Tok. Tansol Tok. Uh huh. All right. right, so it is, what day is it today? Serda. It's lesson harum of week. Week oh. nit. Today, Zhuzhi showed us the best map I have ever seen. The first map I ever saw in my life that I actually understood. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a shot of it. Basically a map of Budapest, but it, it's like a first person point of view and it makes complete sense to me. It's, it's like uh, you can go into the map. It really is. Whoever designed that map is a uh, genius. Well done. Oh, I'm glad you like it. I love all maps. Do you like it? Yeah, of course. I love maps. I absolutely love all maps. I love that it has pictures and yeah. Anyway, next we did more of this, and look what I made. Oh yeah, I'm so wow. Proud of this. 
and she had a really cool game. We rolled a die, and then we had to say like, in or u or me or t. Right. So there's six numbers on the ooh. dice. Number one was in. Number two was te. Number three was u, and so on. Yeah. And then we had to form sentences yeah. with that, and that was also really difficult. Yeah. Then say the day of the week. Then say where we were. Not forgetting the like on or the ban or whatever. And then say the verb, make up a verb, and then at the end of the verb was so, right. so like... I think we were quite good actually, like, when I think about it, it's a very hard thing, but then when we it do it, hard. you just kind of do it. That bit is probably the easiest thing we found in Hungarian so far, is adding the endings to the verbs, because we are used to that from other languages. Yeah. Anyway, that was see. another great lesson with Zhuzhi, and we're looking forward to another lesson in the classroom, so get ready for that. Here it is. <laughs> 62 62 No, we had 62 Oh, that, that doesn't count though It's cheating Oh, it's cheating Oh, it's cheating So today was uh, Chitirtuk Is that right? Chitirtuk, that's right Lesson Nitsch Week Is it week Nitsch? Nitsch Wow Again uh, it was really fun, we were back in the classroom. What did we do today? We started with counting again, but this time first we had to count to 50 and throw the ball again. Here's a little shot that I made earlier of Laura and the ball. <laughs> and it was really cool. First we just had to count to 50, so one person says edge, throws the ball to someone else, the next person has to say ketter and so on, but then... Say it. say it then. So the first person says edge, and the second person says Ketu. Oh, oh, okay. So it's Let's again, again, again. No, say it again. It's nice. So edge. Ketu. <laughs> that was us pretending to throw and catch the ball. That was Laura's idea. It was that was awful. <laughs> You have to be there, it's so much fun, I get so excited. Yeah. But we played an even more exciting game today. We had like a sheet of numbers and Juju was would call them out and then it was a competition between me and Tambo we had to work out me and Tambo, Tambo and I. Tambo and I. We had to Tambo and I had to like race to get the number and we were so competitive. <laughs> yeah. Everyone was laughing at us yeah. and I was <laughs> and I won. So, yeah, yeah, you did win, yeah. Can't yeah. play. Yeah, and then we uh, learned about telephone numbers. Yeah. So sometimes you say the numbers in the form of hundreds, so zas, so you know, catcher zas, teasing edge or something, if it's, you know, 211. And sometimes you say 211, so who's an edge, edge, for some reason, so yeah. Yeah, but that's the same in English, so you that's would the say same in German as 211, well. or you might say 211, or you might say 20, no, 211. <laughs> So that was really good practice, and I think finally I'm getting the numbers because yeah. the, I think out of everything we've learned, even including the grammar, the numbers have been the well, okay, the numbers and the pronunciation have been the hardest for me. Like, hate, hat and hate. I just I hear hate and I'm like, that's pretty is hard. That hat or hate? <laughs> and then I hear ut and I'm like, is, what is that? Right. <laughs> Nods. Oh yeah, nine. <laughs> like, right. which is wrong. I know that's wrong. But yeah, they just really don't click. I and think Tambo tried to, to say it in the gem, which, which was really funny. Yeah, that was a mistake. Anyway, so it was another great lesson. And now yeah. off to the final lesson for week niche. Lesson at. Here we go. So today we learnt about telling the time. Whew. You guys, <laughs> let's just talk about 12, okay? So 12, 12.15, 12.30, 12.45, which are all the same in German and Hungary and English, but right. in British, makes sense. 12.45, we say quarter to one. That's fine. German, they say... Viertel fines. So also quarter to one. Same. And in Hungarian they say, it's harum nejed edge. Right, three quarters to one. one. Yeah, yeah. So okay. that all sort of makes sense. It's like we're thinking about the next hour. That's okay. Right. Then in English, half past twelve, twelve thirty, half past twelve. Like we're we're thinking about twelve. But Germans, they're yeah. still they're like the Hungarians. They're thinking about one. So they're saying half eins, eins, which is right. halfway to one, and it's the same in Hungarian. So it's fail right. eins. No wait, fail <laughs> eins. Yeah, almost, almost. Fail yeah. edge. Fail edge. Is that right? Fail edge. Fail edge. Edge fail. One of those. I think and it's fill edge. Yeah. Then it's where it gets really weird. In English, 
12 15 quarter past 12 it's, we're right. thinking about 12 okay look at your clock it says 12 but in german yeah. as well it's like the english they say viertel nach 12 right mm -hmm. but in hungarian you say net yet net yet, yet edge quarter one and how i don't understand how it makes any sense because it's not it's 12 15 it's quarter past 12 <laughs> i'm 12 one five like but anyway, I think we get it sort of, obviously we have to learn a little bit better, but Juju explained it to us really well. We play with clocks, which is always fun. Right. And yeah, I think it's okay. It's, it's kind of weird, but we can cope with it. And also apparently you guys also say 12, 15, 12, 30. Teasing Keto, teasing it. <laughs> and we also learned today about some of your other verbs. So <laughs> last week we were learning about the regular verbs like ir and shetal and um, it's behind that me. That was still this Besser. week. <laughs> was that this week? God, we've done so much. Pihen, food, and they're all easy and they're easy and they're formed they're regular. easily ish. And then we learned today about like slightly less regular ones uh, like Alsik, Essig, Isik, Regelisik. So all the eek ones, and it turns out the conjugation of those is a little bit harder, but it's not that hard. It's no. okay, I think we can yeah. cope with that. And then we also learned about ones that end in Zs and Ss, so like Nes. Nes, yeah, TV Nes. To watch watching TV. YouTube at Nes. <laughs> and Olvash and Fuz. And again, the conjugation of those is a little bit different, but copable. And I feel I feel positive. I feel like um, we've learned loads of new words. I'm gonna spend this weekend learning those new words prop verbs properly. Nice. And um, yeah, we got this. One last question. Do you guys know what Yatsi is? Thank you so much for watching. We really hope you wa watched it. <laughs> we really hope you watched this. If you watched this to the end, <laughs> you are a true Maggie Weasel. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the subscribe button. We are so close to Advan as our subscribers. 50,000 subscribers at the time of making yeah. this video. Let's try and reach that. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Join our Facebook group. Check Mag out your weasels. the Mac Your Weasels. Check out Juji's channel as well. There's a link in the description below. Um, if you know anyone who wants to learn Magyar, let Juji know. Okay, that's it. We'll see you next week. See ya, see ya. Love you. Uh, Wieslat.